Hi, this is William Ramsey. The following video is about the strange disappearance and death of Henry McCabe in Minneapolis, Minnesota. September 7th, 2015. On the night of November 7th, 2015, Labor Day, Henry T. McCabe, 32, of Mound View, Minnesota, went out for drinks at the C'est La Vie nightclub, also known as Pavlitsky's on 65. The location of the bar was very close to his home in Mounds View in North Minneapolis. After the bar closed at 2 a.m. in the morning, an inebriated Henry McCabe asked to be dropped off at a local Super America close to his home located on Minnesota 65 and 73rd Avenue. Henry T. McCabe was never seen again. At 2.28, one half hour after he was last seen, his wife received the following phone call. It's a voicemail unlike anything you've ever heard before. There are two minutes worth of noises, bizarre ones, but very little actual talking. Authorities confirmed the disturbing middle of the night call came from Henry McCabe's cell phone. It was Labor Day, September 7th at 2.28 in the morning. Within two days, a search began looking for Henry T. McCabe. Henry T. McCabe was an educated member of the Liberian community in Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, friends of Liberia, fellow Liberians, and I'll also say friends in alumni of Lynn Middle High School. I am humble and proud of the Salvation Army, Liberian Command School System, for giving me the opportunity to speak to you and your 2015 Most importantly, I am proud of you for taking on the autonomous leadership to launch the Lahad Human Scholarship Initiative to help Liberians at home today. The following is Henry T. McCabe discussing the nature of justice. This is an inquiry about justice and the definition of the definition and of the nature of justice, which will not really be dealt with here today, because I will have to um, give a series of speeches to really uh, present uh, a concise uh, definition of the nature of justice. Given that, I will begin with a very familiar stories that have to do with justice. Some of you who have been in the law school, you might have encountered this situation. The search for Henry T. McCabe took place throughout northern Minneapolis. Groups in the community looked through rough, woody areas, searching for the whereabouts of Henry T. McCabe. Appeals for his return were made to the public. I want to thank everybody for being here. When someone goes missing, there are a variety of reasons why. And in some cases, there are simple answers as to why. However, when someone vanishes without a trace, there is no simple answers to why. Just a puzzle with a lot of pieces that don't fit together. In the case of Henry McCabe, we have more questions than we have answers. We have a puzzle with a lot of pieces that just don't fit together. So in the effort of encouraging information to come forward. Minnesota Community Policing Services Missing Person Fundraising Committee is offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to the location and recovery of Henry McCabe. On September 22, 2015, two weeks after the disappearance of Henry T. McCabe, the community held a vigil. Again, thank you all for coming. We are so grateful to God that you can be here. Today, we have a simple program for you. We're going to all say, and invoke the Spirit of God to be in our midst because with God, all things are possible. I thank God. Karen is a person of faith. Karen is the wife of our brother, Henry, and she's here. We want to thank God for her. I also invited uh, one of our mothers. Of course, she's no stranger to you. Why is Mar Luis? Mar Luis, where are you? Man. Luis! Luis. Mar Luis is here, the mother of Bowen. If anybody understands what Carrie is going through, this is the person who understands far better than all of us. 
but she's here to show her support to her sister. And that's why we're here. And all of you have come to show support. Mm-hmm. Only together we can do this. So I want to be grateful to God for all of you. We're going to sing three songs, and then we'll go into our program. We have a short program for you. Trust me. I believe this vigil took place at the Mini Mart gas station where Henry T. McCabe disappeared. After year, we get back over to our honorable commissioner who will give us instruction on what to do today. With that said, I got my fire ready for me, so we start the song and my fire so we join me in the world itself. Thank you, tell me I feel laughing. <laughs> September 27th, 2015, another vigil was held for Henry McCabe. Henry, no turning back, no turning back. Thank you all. And let me say, uh, I will talk with the current or Timothy, we need to speak to all of us. But let me say on behalf of the community, I couldn't have been more grateful to all of you. When we went down the hole and I saw people walking with stick and stuff like that, I kept telling Joe, as if nothing is awesome, this is very awesome to see the community in the bush. When you stand for up, you look nice and time. Cannot go there, cannot go there. But when you're there, it's a whole state of... Also on September 27, 2015, the last man to see Henry T. McCabe alive is interviewed. Joe, sure, we're all going on. I, I wish I had never given a ride. Regret and more questions than answers surrounding the disappearance of Henry McCabe. I got no motive. After a night out, William Kennedy says he dropped the state auditor off at this gas station in Fridley. It was the morning of Labor Day. When was the last time you saw him? The last time I saw Henry was the night that I dropped him off. And where did you drop Henry off? I dropped Henry off at the gas station, the Essex gas station on Highway 65. Why? Because he asked to be dropped off, drop off there. No one has seen the 32-year-old or heard from the father of two since. Moundsview police said McCabe's last cell phone ping was in New Brighton, near Silver Lake Road and Mississippi Street. Saturday, members of the Liberian community searched that area and distributed flyers. 
It's about five miles from the gas station where Kennedy says he dropped McCabe off. We need to know where Henry McCabe is, where he was dropped off at last. And if you choose not to give people in authority the truth, then that means to me that you've got something to hide. I am willing, even if it costs me to pay for it, to take a lie detector test. I really wish Henry would come out of somewhere alive and explain the true story himself. Adrian Broadus, CARE 11 News. October 1st, 2015. He has been missing for nearly a month, and now the search for a Department of Revenue auditor will broaden this weekend. Police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. Fox 9's Iris Perez is here with the last known message from the man. Iris, this message, hard to listen to. Jeff, it is, quite frankly, a lot of it is unintelligible. But one thing is for sure, it's very much unlike who the community knows 32-year-old Henry McCabe to be, a hard-working Department of Revenue auditor, husband, and father of two who is loved by many. Let's consider another story, which is not very familiar. This is missing 32-year-old Henry McCabe. From the rest of the world. A stark contrast to Henry's last known message. A message that's not only difficult to understand, but one that's confusing, shocking, and scary. The message was left on his brother's voicemail on the early morning of September 7th, the last day he was seen. It really hurt me. It really did. This man has helped lead the search for Henry. I asked your brother, are you sure this is Henry? He said, yes, it's Henry's voicemail. His next reaction to Henry's last known message? What could possibly be happening to him? And why is that happening? Especially because Henry is a father of two, husband to his wife of 11 years, and a Department of Revenue auditor. Is also threatening. Henry left the voicemail after spending some time here, also known as C'est La Vie Nightclub in Spring Lake Park. After leaving the club, Henry is believed to have gotten a ride to this gas station on 73rd Avenue and Highway 65 in Fridley. From there, he called his wife, Corrine. She was like, well, let me call you back. His phone, like, I think it pocket dialed me. After making calls to his wife and his brother, where Henry went or why remains a mystery. <laughs> Moundsview police confirm one of Henry's last cell phone pings leads them to New Brighton in the area of Creeksview Park, where volunteers have planned another search this Saturday. Oh, we anticipate big group. Where Kareen and all who care for Henry hope to uncover the truth about what happened to the man loved by his wife, two daughters, and the community who won't give up until they find him. The search for Henry picks up at 10 a.m. on Saturday on Silver Lake Road and Mississippi <clears throat> Street in New Brighton. Anyone interested in volunteering to help search for Henry is welcome to join the group there that morning. Kelsey, back to you. McCabe's worried wife heard the message. Isn't my cell phone connected? Minnesota Community Policing Services is a nonprofit agency and acts as a go-between with police and the Liberian community. The leader is trying to help the family make some sense of this recording. The growls turn to high pitch moans. Like, so, like, like he's the, moaning in pain. Mo like moaning in pain. The tortured grunts suddenly stop. There is silence. Then someone, either Henry or another person, says, Stop it. I try to picture where he was, um, what it might have been like, what circumstances would have made him sound like that. The voicemail is in stark contrast to other articulate recordings of McCabe speaking at an event. He's a state auditor. What is the justification? What is the right thing to do? The message is one piece of evidence Moundsview police are reviewing. The police chief tells me even the FBI is analyzing the recording and voices for clues. The chief says the investigation took deputies here on Tuesday. To Rice Creek Park, which borders New Brighton, Moundsview, and Fridley, all areas where McCabe was reported seen or a cell phone ping placed him. Ramsey County Water Patrol searched but came up empty. October 6, 2015. This is an unusual case. And the length of time that it's taking to bring the case to a conclusion is not because of a lack of effort by law enforcement 
but because the actors that are involved in this case are sophisticated and they've gone to great lengths to conceal their involvement. Listen to that again. But because the actors that are involved in this case are sophisticated and they've gone to great lengths to conceal their involvement. So we have to allow the time to work on our behalf. Uh, the, the technical and forensic part of the investigation is fluid. And I just want to reassure everybody that uh, the Minnesota law enforcement agencies are doing everything that they possibly can to bring this case to a conclusion. November 2nd. 2015. The decomposed body of Henry T. McCabe was found one hour northwest of downtown Minneapolis at Rush Lake. Members of the Liberian community held a service for Henry T. McCabe at the remote lake where his body was found. Wow. This is a yeah come on praise the lord Amen. let us pray father you are god indeed he cried for his life praise the lord Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, "Praise answer questions." Amen. Amen. I want us to pray. I believe every one of us have a specific question. What happened to our brother, to our son, to our father? And God is gonna give us the answer. We are praying for in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are God indeed. Your word says, according to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3. You said that we should call upon you. You will answer us. You will hear us. You will do great and mighty things that we know not about. Father, we don't know what really took place, Father God, but we believe as we call upon you, you will show us, you will prove yourself. You will stand on behalf of our brother, our son, our father. Jehovah, you are God indeed. Fill our hearts with your grace. Give us the strength, wisdom, and understanding to go through such a dangerous and painful tragedy. We believe, Father, as this Time, Lord, as we enter into this significant time, Father God, we know that you will show up. Show up on behalf of Liberia, Liberians. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. There are some serious problems with the Henry McCabe case. According to one journalist, there is active obstruction of the independent investigation and false information has been provided to police. The death of Henry McCabe remains unsolved.